In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a realistic fake cinnamon scroll prop for theatre, decor, or perhaps to enhance your child's dollhouse or play kitchen experience out of air drying clay, and we're starting right now. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am That Props Girl and I am all about helping non-professional theatre makers, props designers, hobby crafters and decorators create unique props on a budget. And as I said, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a replica cinnamon scroll that looks realistic and so if you are keen to see that, then stick around. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button as it lets me know that you wanna see more content just like this one and consider hitting the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And with all that said and done, let's jump straight into this video. For this project you will need a few things. You will need some air drying clay, you can use whatever brand you like but Crayola is my personal favourite. Some acrylic paint, an assortment of brown colours is ideal. You can choose whatever ones you like and the shades that you need, some white and some yellow. Some Mod Podge in matte and gloss or you can alternatively just use a matte one. A cup or container to mix the paint in, paint brushes and a sponge. You can use one of those sponge paint brushes, I just didn't have one so cutting up a kitchen sponge is also going to work just as well. Step number one, you don't need to need air drying clay, but I like to just knead it a little bit before we start. And all we're going to do with this one is roll it between our fingers and turn it into a long roll. And if you are a parent of kids or if you remember playing with Play-Doh, then this should be familiar territory to you. Step number two, we're gonna coil that roll around in a circle to make a little spiral, kind of like a snail shell, and that's gonna be the basis for our scroll. Now you're gonna to have to pause here and let that dry for a little bit of time. And depending on the temperature in which your house is or where you are in the world will be a depending factor on how long it takes to dry. It can take a couple of hours sometimes. It can also take a couple of days. But if you look on the back of your air drying clay before you start, it should give you a rough estimate of time of how long it can take. Now here is one I prepared earlier and we're gonna go ahead and paint that now. But before we do, hit the like button if you are enjoying this video and leave me a comment with any suggestions that you might have in terms of what fake foods I should make next. But while you're there, consider hitting the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Step number three, we're going to paint the base. I'm using a raw sienna here and I'm just going to cover the entire scroll in that to be the base colour there. And then we're just going to set that aside and let it dry. Step number four is optional. Now, I like to do this to create a little bit of texture, but as I said, it is not compulsory. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to mix some white in with the yellow and then a little bit of that sienna to make a different shade of brown. And you can do this with darker and lighter shades as well. I'm just gonna take that sponge and sponge it into the base just to give it a bit of texture so it makes it look like it's been baked in an oven. It's just a little step to make it look a bit more realistic. It is 100% not compulsory. And if you're making this for a child, I I don't know if they're going to really notice the difference anyway. But if this is for a display prop and you want it to be a bit more realistic, this is a great option for you. Step number five, we're just gonna take a small paintbrush and we're gonna paint over the top of the spiral coil in with that darker brown shade. And this is just gonna make it look like there is a lot of cinnamon stuck in there because if you've ever looked at a cinnamon scroll, you would know that there is always like the nice crusty, crunchy bits of the cinnamon. And then inside the coil, there's all that cinnamon in there that's really moist and it has a darker color. So now we're just gonna take a small paintbrush and paint on the inner circle. And you can do a little dabs as well around the outside if you wanna make it look like it's got some crusty cinnamon cinnamon there and once again we're just going to set that aside to dry. Step number six, 
the glaze. Now, if you watched my fake donuts video or my fake pizza video, then you guys will be familiar with the method I'm about to use. I will say it worked a little bit better in the fake pizza video than the fake donuts video, but we're gonna give it another try today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some gloss Mod Podge, but you can also use matte as well. But we're gonna take the gloss Mod Podge and we're gonna put a drop, and I do mean a tiny little bit of white paint in this, and this is just going to make it a little bit more transparent. We're gonna mix it up and then pour it over the scroll to make that glaze and this will just make it look like it's got that nice glaze white icing oozing all over it and we'll have to put that aside to dry now Mod Podge can take a little bit of time as well so unfortunately making this prop is going to take a little bit of time but the end result is going to be amazing Step number seven is optional again, but I highly recommend this step as well. And that is coating the rest of the scroll in Mod Podge. And I usually use a matte one as well. And this is just gonna help it cure and set 100% so it doesn't go and crack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like to let me know if you did as well as leave me a comment as to your thoughts to the finished product or if you have any suggestions on what videos you would like to see in the future. And also consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos and you stay up to date with all the things that are happening over here. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.